It seems like many people get their rocks off by basically saying you can't disprove something, therefore it must hold some kind of validity. They might say that their experiences pan out the idea of their beliefs, but they're just pleading on behalf of a point of view, giving your belief special privilege above and beyond that of any other point of view, simply because you happen to accept your point of view as being the truth, is incredibly arrogant. The person making the claim has to justify the claim, otherwise they're merely expressing an idea. There's a difference between debating facts and debating what you have the right to believe in. The validity of your beliefs has nothing to do with your religious rights. Simply because you have freedom of expression does not mean that your expression is being limited or is being repressed simply because a person questions what you happen to believe. Critics and haters are not the same thing. And just because a person questions your belief and you happen to believe in interdimensional reptilians and new world order does not mean that the person who is being a critic happens to work for those individuals you happen to believe exist and rule the world. If a person criticises Christianity, it does not mean they're working for the devil. If you criticise an anti-communist group, it does not make you a communist. And pointing out where psychics don't work, where God doesn't appear to exist, and numerous other ideas does not mean you know that these things are impossible. Pointing out bad science does not mean you have to be a scientist to point it out. Pointing out fallacies does not mean you have to be an expert debater. And even if you're qualified, even if you're an expert, even if you are an expert debater or lecturer, it does not mean you're always right. The battle of beliefs is a petty game. What matters more is the truth. And the people I want to shout out in this video are Unworshipped Deity and Richtersgate.